everyone, welcome to May Favorites. I'm gonna jump right in because I got a lot to cover. So the first thing is this Wet n Wild highlighter. I have it on my mobile lid today. I love this. Now I normally go for more of a champagne beige kind of highlighter color. This is very much a rose gold. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it on the lid, I love it as a highlighter. I think with summer, it works well for the bronze. I'm still working on my Mary Luminizer, which I love, but I would not repurchase because there's so many amazing highlighters at the drugstore, I don't think there's a need. But I guess I'm just surprised that I like this Precious Petals being rose gold as much as I do, and I think it's because it's summertime, so I'm enjoying that. I have a girlfriend from Africa who comes every six months to a year and I try to connect with her when she's in town and she recommends great products. I'm her sister from another mister and for some reason African American hair products work so well for me. So when she was in town from Africa, we got together and she recommended two products from the drugstore that I love and the prices are amazing. So this I got at Walmart, it's an olive oil by Ors and it's sweet orange. It smells delicious. I just want to bathe in it and have it on all the time. It is for replenishing dry damaged hair and after I had my hair drama, which you'll see in my empties, this performed miracles. My hair is soft, it, it came back to life thanks to this. When I was younger, I had very oily hair. As I've gotten older, the longer that I go in between shampoos, the drier my hair gets. So when I shampoo, my hair is nice, it's perfect, and then it starts to dry out. Maybe it's all my products, including dry shampoo, but this Cantu Shea Butter Oil Sheen Deep Conditioning Spray is amazing, especially on blonde hair, for adding back some sheen in between my shampoos. You don't need a lot and it has a definite scent. I don't say that I love the scent, but it's worth it for the beauty of having your hair looking shiny and fresh and beautiful. I really love this product. I've been appreciating our weather. We've hit 100, but we've had temperatures in the 80s and 90s as well, and I find something good about our weather no matter what month of the year it is. For me, coming up in June, Hopefully my pool will get warm enough that I can go swimming. But right now it's been beautiful for us to sit outside, enjoy the pool, um, the views of the pool, I haven't gotten in it yet, and reading just the mornings and the evenings are just so beautiful out there. So I've absolutely been loving that. What I have been hating is our noceums and mosquitoes. They come into Arizona around Mother's Day. They were actually a little early this year and then they supposedly go away by Father's Day. Hopefully they'll go away a little early. I have found some things to keep them away from me as well as to clean out the yard. So let's start with the things that keep them away from me. Betaine would be the first one. I love betaine, I'll link a video on it, but it gets your blood more acidic. They aren't as interested in you when your blood isn't really sweet. I had no idea, but I've been the beneficiary of that. The other thing is oils. It doesn't matter what oils you use. You could use baby oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil. They don't like that when your skin has oils on them. I don't know if that means that it changes so your skin, they can't smell the CO2 off of it as much, or if it's just the coating. But some of the oils that I've been using are this Trader Joe's lemongrass coconut oil with almond and jojoba. I keep this on my desk. Now, CMs love to hide and they've picked my desk. So anytime I sit down, my knees and lower legs are used like a turkey drumstick and they just gnaw on them. So I immediately grab this and rub it all on. It works better than Skin So Soft. Or, it's Skin So Soft has never really worked for me. Oils are where it's at. Now the ones that I love, I've been using up this one from the Body Shop Honey Bronze. I like the bronze, but it's very, very liquidy, very, very oily, very, very thin. What I actually love the most is my hard candy. This is thick, it goes on like a really nice bronze coating, and the mosquitoes and noceums hate it, which makes me super happy. <laughs> then the things that we've been doing in the yard is I light a firewall. I have my tiki torches, I have the pool fire pots, and 
from the dollar store. You can get these. Uh, there are four coils inside. They are, I think, five or six bucks at Walmart. They're a dollar for four coils at the dollar store. And they come with a little pop-up metal clip and you poke it onto here and then you light it and it burns and yes it does have a smell but I'm okay with that. So I light all the tiki torches and a couple dollar store coils in my little clay pots about 20 minutes before we're going to go out in the yard and this helps immensely to keep them away. And then the other two things we got was one is one that we have by the house and it's called a Dyna trap and it gives off CO2 and attracts the bugs and traps them in there. But the other one that I love that works amazing, I'll link it on Amazon below, it has incredible reviews from people in Florida out of the Everglades swamps that were getting eaten alive. They've written reviews and shown pictures of all of the bugs this thing catches. This thing is entertainment. It's 4th of July death fireworks every evening at dusk and it makes me so happy. It gets plugged in. It has to be away from your house because you could have sparks and it really seriously diminishes the population. They don't have a long life cycle. I think it's 24 or 48 hours. So once you start getting rid of them, then you just have to get rid of the next batch that hatches before they can lay their eggs and you have a seriously diminished population in your backyard. And yes, my neighbors have their bugs that come over to my yard, but this has really, really, really cut down the population. So those are the things that we've been doing so we can still be out enjoying our yard and not letting these bugs take over. For TV, I think I mentioned last month that we were watching Life Story. It is a nature show with David Attenborough narrating. He's amazing. Their footage is just incredible. It was super, super enjoyable. The next one was a series we started. We watched maybe four or five episodes and Mark doesn't usually say that he doesn't want to watch anymore. That's usually my call when I say we're done. He said, let's stop watching it. And that was Offspring. It was okay. She's extremely neurotic, like over the top neurotic, which was annoying, but I thought it was entertaining. Mark didn't like it. So we got rid of that. And now we're watching the third season of Sneaky Pete. We like that show. It's very twisted. Giovanni does an amazing job of playing Marius, Pete, whatever character you want to call him. And we're really enjoying all the twists. When we finish season three, I'm thinking we'll probably watch Homeland and I don't remember that because it's been so long. We watched season seven. We'll have to go back and probably rewatch most of that season. And then now we bought season eight on DVD. So quickly the knitting before I get into Olivia. I finished this blanket for Olivia's sister, my other niece, Amanda, who's due in August. And I will link the pattern below. It's a crochet pattern if anybody's interested. And yes, I know I say knitting when it's crochet. But I'll ship that up to her. She's expecting a baby boy. And then on to Olivia. Olivia has changed her hair from blonde to brown. And I actually prefer it blonde, but she's beautiful no matter what. She looks so cute. She finished her first year of university and she got all A's and B's, which doesn't surprise me because she put so much pressure on herself. And I'm going to talk about where she might be going for the second year. But first, she had to go to the mainland for her annual cancer test and she tested all clear. Woohoo! When they went down, it's quite a trek. It takes almost all day and then they have all the tests. Well, then that night they flew to Alberta, which for those of you that don't know, it's several hours away by plane and she went for hockey tryouts and she got accepted as the goalie for this university. So if she accepts going there, somehow my sister would have to help her set up and live there at the same time as my other niece is expecting her baby. And they both want to be there for the birth of my other niece's baby. So I don't know how this is all going to work, but I know they'll figure it out. I also think it's a great opportunity for Olivia. I think living away from home 
where she was going to university on Vancouver Island, she was coming home. She was maybe gone three nights a week. So the rest of the time she was home. And to me, that's not independent and that's not gaining the college experience. So this would definitely be independent and gaining the college experience. Plus it would be giving her the hockey that she so loves. And I also want to mention on June 3rd, Olivia is doing the telethon on television. She is going to be on there talking about her experience and helping with the fundraising. I don't know how much of a portion she's going to have, but I so admire her that she has such poise and confidence as a young lady to go on to national television and do this. I'm really hoping if anybody in Canada knows how I can watch it maybe on the web, I would love to see her on there. I think that would be an amazing thing, but I wanted to get this up before June the 3rd when the telethon is on. So I think that that's everything. Thank you for spending some of your time with me. And as always, if you have anything of your life that you'd love to share, I love hearing from you and it makes me get to know you even more. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.